In the previous lessons, we learned about the process called prime factorization, which allows us to find all the prime numbers that multiply together to form that particular number. And we also learned how to use prime factorization to find the greatest common factors between two numbers. Basically, it is the product of the common prime numbers or prime factors between the two numbers. And let me show you again in the process of rewriting the fraction in the simplest form. So our limitation for typing the answer is this, is that we cannot type fraction directly, so we have to use the forward slash, this one here on your keyboard, to represent a fraction. Just like we have one half is entered as one forward slash two. So here we have two number. We're going to use prime factorization to write this in simplest form. Well, we have 21 and 72. The first thing first we have to do is this. We have to find the greatest common factor between two numbers. To do that, we need to find the prime numbers that make up 21. And before we do anything, remember we have to memorize this common prime number 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Those are the common prime numbers that we need to remember, and that make our life a lot easier. So let's look at 21. Which prime number right here can divide into 21 evenly? So we have 3 times 7 and give us 21. And both of them are prime numbers, so we cannot break it down any more further. 72. Let's look at 72. We know 72 is an even number, so that can be divided by 2. So we have 2 times 36. And there you go, we have our prime number right there. And 36 is an even number, so we can divide it by 2 again. 2 times what? Well, 2 times 18 can give us 36. Now, 18 is an even number again, so we can divide it by 2 again, 2 times 9, and there you go. And then 9 was 9. Well, 9 is divided by 3, so 3 times 3, there you go. And now we have all the prime numbers that make up this particular number, 72, and here we have prime number that make up 21. So what is the common prime factors? Right away, we know this one has 3, and this one has 3. So what does that mean? In this case, we only have one common prime factors. So therefore, the greatest common factor must be 3. So if I take 21 divided by 3 and 72 divided by 3, what do we have? Well, 21 divided by 3, that is 7. And what is 72 divided by 3? Well, that turned out to be 24. And if you don't know how to do that, let me show you. 72 divided by 3. Right here, this is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Well, 7 minus 6 is 1. And bring down the 2, okay? So 3 times 4 gives you 12. So that's how we get 24 right there. So to type our answer, of course, we have 7 forward slash 24. Let's try another problem. Here we have 21 and 63. Again, start with your prime factorization. And what do we have? 21 and 63. So 21, we know right away what prime number can divide by 21 evenly. And we know that is 3 times 7. That's pretty easy. We did that before. And 63 is a little bit more challenging. Well, 63, if you remember your multiplication table, that is 7 times 9. 7 times 9 gives you 63. And 9 again, 3 times 3. So that's the reason why you have to memorize your multiplication table very, very well, or else you're going to struggle with your math class in the future. So if we look at the prime factorization for both numbers, what are the prime factors that they have in common? Well, we have 3 here and 7 there, and we have 3 here and 7 there. So we have two common prime factors. So we take the common prime factors and we multiply them together. So we have 3, that's the first common one, and 7. And what is 7 times 3? Well, 3 times 7, either way, is 21. And what does that really mean? This right here is your greatest common factor. So we can now divide both of them by 21. 
What's 21 divided by 21 is 1. And what's 63 divided by 21? That is 3. And if you have a hard time knowing that, we can do this. What's 21 times 2? We know that is 42. And what is 21 times 3? That is 63. So using the process prime factorization allow us to simplify any fraction with any particular type of number. Thank you for watching and we hope that this video have empowered you to do well in your math class. Streamline Ed PD is an all-in-one education training by teachers with the mission to empower teachers to support all students. We have interactive practice that go along with this video. The links are in the description below. If you would like your teacher to use this video or create a similar video to support you and your classmate, please subscribe and share this video and your learning experience with your teachers and parents. Together we can empower you to be successful in school.